County Administrator's Report. We have a uh, written report at your seat. Uh, first item, uh, our joint revenue sharing agreement with the City of Covington. That's an ongoing uh, project and uh, we continue to, to work towards uh, uh, getting to the point where we'll uh, be able to jointly invest in, uh, in, in property. Um, currently, uh, staff from the uh, Roanoke Valley Allegheny Regional Commission as part of their work plan for Physical 20 is assisting us with the development of detailed mapping that will be part of an ordinance that both bodies will have to adopt that define the areas that we can jointly invest in. Um, I know a lot of folks uh, thought that when we signed that agreement some two years ago that uh, we could immediately begin the process of making those investments together. Uh, it's, a, it's a long process, it's an ongoing process. Uh, it's mirroring what they have uh, done in uh, Roanoke Valley with the Regional Industrial Facilities Authority there. They started that in 2011. They're getting ready to, to start work at Woodhaven, which is their site uh, currently. So they still are, it, it, it takes time to work through that process. Uh, but it is ongoing and uh, we hope to have the, that mapping complete. I'm meeting with Eddie Wells from the Regional Commission tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 uh, to, to continue that work. Um, we continue to utilize the housing study, uh, continue to meet with developers on an individual basis uh, and, and use that document to uh, uh, market the highlands and show the demand for new housing. Bath County is in the process and will sign a contract doing something very, very similar. Uh, one of the things that we have discussed locally and, and what Bogotot has done and what Martinsville and Henry County are, are currently doing is uh, having a housing s uh, summit as a uh, follow-up after you've completed the work. Um, I spoke with Ashton Harrison in Bath County about the concept of us doing it regionally with them as uh, uh, hoping to be able to draw a, a larger contingent of folks and he was uh, agreeable so as they finish up their housing study uh, we'll work with them and uh, uh, BHDA Virginia Housing Development Authority maybe put on a, a, a regional uh, summit here and invite uh, folks to, to visit and show them some of the properties that we have. Uh, Ingrid has left, but then we just mentioned, she mentioned a meeting here about the uh, potential for a, uh, a regional drug court. I'd like to uh, really yeah. just thank Commonwealth Attorney Ann Gardner. She spearheaded that effort uh, and has brought uh, folks from the region together. Uh, Buena Vista, Rock Ridge, Botetourt, Allegheny, Covington will all be represented to represented and meet in this room on August 21st with staff from the Supreme Court to, of Virginia to discuss the possibility of creating that regional drug court. At your seat, uh, you have information from Floyd County by letter that we received on July 29th. And a, and a copy of a resolution and then also a resolution and an email that we received on August 5th from Bland County. Um, the, this is uh, with regard to uh, uh, the additional tax that is placed on counties uh, that are within planning district commissions along the I-81 corridor um, and both Floyd and Bland County have taken a position in opposition to the tax uh, being placed on uh, fuel in counties that do not have direct or immediate access or at 81 passes through their boundaries. Um, and there are a number, um, Floyd, Allegheny, Bath, Bland, Carroll, Craig, Flank, Franklin, Grayson, Giles, Highland, and Page counties uh, are included in the uh, uh, the additional tax but do not have uh, any part of 81 with within their borders uh, what I'd like some guidance from the board uh, and if you if you would like we can add a similar resolution to your September meeting for for action um, if, if the board so desires anything else I have one more item uh, if you want me to touch yeah, on that or I think we already got one board member that's expressed an interest in maybe putting it on the agenda for the next meeting. Are you alright with that? Yes. You too? Okay. I think Mr. Nice does okay. too, so that's enough. Let's put, uh, let's make that an item and everybody's got 30 days to discuss it and think about it. And, you know. 
I guess we'll take a position that next month maybe. Okay. We'll add that to your September agenda. Then the last item is you have an email, and I've forwarded several of these over the course of the past several months. Um, there's an effort uh, to have a regional meeting uh, of the local governments uh, that uh, will be impacted by the uh, expansion and all the good work that's happening at the Virginia Tech Carillion facilities in downtown Roanoke. Uh, Gary LaRue from Botetot has spearheaded this effort and working with those folks. We have an email that's printed out behind the uh, uh, report um, that outlines uh, roughly what a meeting would look like at, uh, uh, at the Carillion facility. Uh, if the board or at least three of you are interested, I'm planning to attend on behalf of the county. Uh, if you're interested in, in attending, um, when we adjourn from your September meeting, we can simply adjourn to this meeting on, uh, on September 12th. If, uh, if, if three or more of you would like to go, I just bring that to your attention now. We can decide over the course of the month to make a decision as to whether or not you'd like to attend. Uh, we would just need to know uh, uh, at the night of your September meet, regular meeting, uh, when we adjourn, whether or not to adjourn to September 12th or to our regular October meeting. So that's all I have. Thank you, John.